tip number 33, if you can, try using a leaded tin when repairing during debugging or testing. Now be very careful, okay? I am not saying that you should stop manufacturing unleaded boards. I'm only speaking about the situation when, uh, especially when you are debugging and testing your prototypes and when you are repairing or replacing some of the components on your board, which otherwise will be probably unleaded. Only during this replacement, you may want to consider using the leaded tin. And don't forget, this kind of board with leaded tin, once you put that leaded tin, you normally cannot ship it to customers. You only need to keep it in your company. So if you cannot manufacture leaded boards, if you cannot ship out the leaded boards, why I created this tip? Because leaded tin has some, uh, some very nice properties. And one of the best properties of leaded tin is, uh, do you know what? It melts at lower temperature comparing to the unleaded tin. How this can be useful? It can be useful, useful especially if you need to uh, solder and desolder one component multiple times. Because you don't need to heat up the PCB into so high temperature. So you, it's, it helps to save the tracks on the PCB yeah, so they don't fall off. And also you don't need to heat up the component into so high temperature because the lead it in melts in lower temperature. And uh, this can help you uh, prevent or lower the risk of damaging the component which you are soldering and all the other components around this component. Prevent, uh, you know, damaging the components because of high temperature. Yeah, some components can be damaged with high temperature when you try to solder them too long or with very high temperature. Uh, and also one of the thing is the leaded tin, it behaves a little bit differently. I'm pretty sure everyone who used to work with leaded tin, they know the, the behavior is different and also the joints are a little bit different comparing to unleaded tin. If you never tried the leaded tin, try it. You may not see the difference uh, immediately, but after some time, you may see the difference between the leaded and unleaded tin. So don't forget, I'm not saying you should stop manufacturing unleaded boards. Use this only on your prototypes, only during the, some kind of debugging or testing of the prototypes. Don't ship out the leaded boards. Tip number 33, if you can try using leaded tin when repairing during debugging or testing, why it melts at lower temperature and behaves better than unleaded tin.